thing we'll see the ASA basic CD policies will verify here. So in the previous video, I, I did the basic setup on the ASA with these configurations. So if I say show interface IP brief, you can see the interface configurations and also on the router, I do have the basic IP configuration. The router one is connecting on F0 by 0 interface to ASA. And I do have reachability between the router one and the ASA as well as from the ASA to the router two. So the first thing and also what I did is I just configured some basic default route to provide some kind of end-to-end -end reachability. So on the router one, I have configured some default route pointing towards the ASA. And on the router two also, I have configured a default route pointing towards the ASA to provide end-to-end -end reachability. And of course, on this interfaces, we configured the signal level of 100 here. And then we are we have configured the signal level of zero, uh, which is something already pre-configured on the ASA. So if you, if you try to verify on the router two also, if I say show IP route static, I do have a default route uh, pre-configured to provide or to do some kind of testing. Now by default on the ASA, uh, ASA is going to do something like stateful packet inspection. Now we discussed a stateful packet inspection in our basic topics like uh, stateful packet inspection is nothing but it allows the traffic to pass through the ASA firewall if, if it is permitted and ensure that return traffic automatically comes back but if any traffic is originating on the outside interface or on from the internet it's, it's by default denied because of the default safety levels because we, we want to make sure that the traffic coming from going from 100 to 0 should be allowed at the same time return traffic should come back but anything coming from 0 to 100 is not allowed by default unless you write some ACLs to permit the traffic. Now the stateful packet inspection is nothing but the ASA firewall is going to allow the traffic to pass through and then it is going to write down that in the session table or the state table. And then we, when it is coming back, it will check whether it is a part of the existing session or not. And based on that, it is going to allow that. Now again, uh, so to do some basic testing and, and by default, ASA will do inspection of uh, TCP and the UDP traffics. Like as per my topology here, I, I'm, I'll try to initiate some traffic from my inside interface. So I'll try to initiate a telnet traffic. For testing purpose, you can, you can initiate any other traffics, but generally Telnet is a simple way to test it out. Uh, I, I should be able to tell it to the router 2. At the same time, I'll try to initiate a Telnet from the router 2 to router 1. That should not be allowed by default. So make sure that we do have reachability between the routers. So from the router 1, I already configured some passwords, I think. So Telnet to the router 2, the IP address is 20.0. Uh, 100.0.20.2 here, yeah, the password, and you can see if I say show users, of course, this is not required, but so I'm initiating a telnet from the router 1 to router 2, it's by default allowed. But if you go to router 2 and if you try to initiate a traffic, uh, telnet traffic to router 1, by default, it's not allowed because uh, as per the ASA, we discussed that the traffic initiated from the lower signal level interface 0. 200 is not allowed by default. So we can try initiating any of the uh, uh, TCP or UDP traffic. Telnet is the best way to verify. Now this is mainly because uh, by default ASA is going to maintain something like uh, default inspection it is going to do based on some uh, default configurations. If I say show run, you will see some, some default configurations here. Like there is a default class map and then which is going to match the default inspection traffic and then the policy map uh, and it is applied globally uh, on the ASA. Globally means which applies for all the interfaces. Now by default ASA have some pre-configured uh, pre uh, policies and it is configured in the form of modular policy framework. Like I discussed already this is uh, where we can we use the class maps to match a specific traffic Policy map is going to tell what action you want to take, whether you want to inspect the traffic. Inspect means allow the traffic. If it is returning back, it should be allowed. Or you want to pass, you want to do some kind of rate limiting, 
uh, we can do a lot of things and then finally we apply by using some service policies so if you get into the asa by default asa will have some default uh, class map which is going to match a default inspection traffic and then and if you, if you say show on policy map the default global policy this is the default global policy we have it's going to inspect the default these are the traffic which can which, which are by default inspected and if you want to add any additional things like let's say icmp here you can see icmp is not by default inspected and that's the reason if you if i go to my uh, router one let's say from the router one i'll try to initiate a ping traffic 100.0.20.2 uh, the ping is working and the reason is I think I already configured, I modified this policy uh, where I have added this inspect ICMP option here. Uh, by default, ICMP traffic is not inspected by default. So let me remove that because if, if you go with the default uh, configurations, you don't see that ICMP in general. So I need to say show run policy map. That's how we can... Uh, get into the policy map so i need to say policy map so i need to get into the global configuration mode policy map i have to say global underscore policy the one which which is already present now i'm using this vnc viewer i cannot copy paste uh, from here so i need to match this and i need to remove this one so i need to say class or uh, inspection default Then I to say no inspect ICMP. So I, I removed this ICMP inspection. So let me just confirm this by getting into show run global show run policy map just to confirm it's been removed. So now if I try to ping once again, the ping doesn't work. Now uh, by default, it's going to inspect the TCP and the UDP traffic. So if you want to inspect any other traffics, uh, probably you can specifically mention that inside the default global policy. Now we don't need to modify that most of the time uh, because of this default uh, policy, uh, most of the inspection goes, but we can do most of the advanced things if we're using this policy maps, like we can we can actually do some application specific engines, we can, we can configure some uh, specific inspection policies or some rate li uh, connection limits, we can limit the number of TCP UDP connections initiated for matching the traffic. We can do a lot of things like adjust the TCP parameters or limit the management traffic from for where it should be allowed in general. Uh, plenty of things we can do probably that that is something you will be seeing more in detail in the CCNP level where we'll be seeing like uh, how we can use this modular policy framework to tune some of the security policies. Now. Uh, by default, these these are the policies. What you will see, uh, what is what is actually pre-configured on the ASA firewalls, and based on that, by default, uh, traffic from higher to lower is by default allowed. Return traffic automatically comes back. Now, probably in my labs, I'll be uh, using inspections because. So what I'll be doing is I'll I'll, I'll always use inspect ICMP command because uh, most of the time we do testing in our labs either by generating some kind of telnet traffic or icmp traffic uh, and, and maybe i will try to generate some tftp traffic but again i need some tftp setup for that but most of the lab scenarios i'll be using telnet and icmp traffic so probably what i'll be doing is i'm going to enable inspect icmp on my ass in the next continuation labs so that i can do some basic connectivity testing in general so let me just quickly configure this so I can say policy map so policy map global policy and then we can say class inspection default and then I say inspect ICMP now once I add inspect ICMP, I'll be saying these configurations up to this point. So I should be able to ping if I did the correct configurations. If I miss, then it's not going to work. So, 
And the main thing I, I just mistyped these things. If you if you try to see here. Now if you try to see here the here what I did is uh, I just mistyped this one. I think this is something what I mistyped. So I, I just use global hyphen policy. It has to be global underscore policy. There's only there's only mistake, but if you just type in the correct if, if you get into the correct global policy, then you will see the inspect ICMP option here. Anyway, I'll, I'll do it. Don't need to worry. So 